I was here with F. Oh, here to you. All right, guys, Coach Dunn here, X's and O's with FLG. Uh, today I'm going to be explaining one of our uh, slide and recover drills. We do a lot of these at FLG. Uh, I think they're really good for the offense and helping to diagnose a defense, right? I've seen certainly uh, in my coaching career a little bit of a shortage of feeders and attack guys or midfielders that make great decisions off their dodge, especially from X. Uh, and it's also working on our defensive principles as far as sliding, recovering, and kind of playing out of those scramble situations when a slide does occur. Uh, so the first one I'm going to demonstrate is just our 4v3 skip pass drill. Uh, we do a 1v1 skip pass drill that builds up to this a lot of the time, uh, but this is our small area game. So the setup is the purple are two cones that we like to put out that we tell the offensive guys they can move between, but they can't be in front of, okay? This is to help for two things. One is to make it fair for the defense because obviously they're playing a man down. But the second is to help our offensive players fight that natural urge to kind of get sucked into bad space where now a skip pass really can't be made. So the drill will start with a player behind each cone on offense. We've got an offensive player in the crease. All right, we've got an offensive player X uncovered. We've got our hot defender. And of course, we've got a two right and a two left. Okay, uh, so the player with the ball can dodge to whatever side he likes, okay? The defense is required to slide because obviously otherwise he'll turn the corner and score. So we get a fire, right? Our, our offensive player should be mimicking and then cutting, which makes this defenseman the second slide. All right, playing with the offside midi, following him all the way with that cut, okay? This is another reason why we like to try and keep the guys behind the cones so that this way we can kind of scramble out. All right, this offensive guy can skip the ball anywhere he wants and then we're live. So he can skip it up top, maybe to this guy, he can go one-on-one. -on -one. He can skip it up top and he'll skip it across. Or of course, he can lob it over the top. But, so the, the one that we really want to work on here is of course that lob skip pass. Some people call it a star pass. That's what we call it at Albany. To this guy out here, okay? And now what we're going to do defensively is we're going to scramble out and recover, right? This D guy is going to have to come out and take a great approach. This D guy is going to have to circle back. This guy may have to help inside. Okay, and now we get this kind of one-on-one -on -one scramble situation where maybe this guy drives. We're working on our push-pull here where this guy's going to fade. Our attack guy's going to have to work on circling back. Now, you can play this out to a shot. The rule that we like to put in for the guy at X is that he can still be an outlet. So let's, let's rewind this back a little bit to where this guy just got the skip pass. Okay, or maybe, let's say this. They, let's say that this guy skips it forward. He skips it across. And now this guy goes and gives a good dodge, but the defense did a nice job, all right? They're gonna recover with a slide guy and they're gonna cover up the crease, okay? So this guy, D guy comes out, he gets a good approach. This D guy recovers and gets across, he gets a good slide, okay? Obviously that should drag this guy to the middle, all right? But at the end of the day, he's got nowhere to go with the ball except to X, right? So this offensive guy, we let him be an outlet, right? We don't want our guys to get in bad habits and think that it's now a three on three. It is a true four on three. He can throw forward to this guy at X. He can't cross goal line though until he obviously drives to the other side of X. This is again gonna give that defense chance to recover, okay? Get across, be a hot guy, slide, and then maybe we get another skip pass and the drill continues to cycle, all right? For our five on four variation, okay, and we do this with a lot of our drills, okay, now we wanna teach a little bit of on ball defense and we wanna make the first dodge realistic. We'll put a defender on ball, okay? We've got our offensive guy at X with the ball. We're gonna put an offensive guy in the mirror, okay? And an offensive guy in the crease, and of course our two guys back in our skip spots. We're gonna put our, our defensive guy in, and of course our help to either side, all right? Now, this offensive guy, his job is really to try and win the matchup, and that's something you really have to emphasize to, to the players, because the natural tendency is to use the uncovered throwback guy as a crutch, all right? But he's gonna try and beat his guy, all right? Maybe he gets there. This defender does a great job, right? He can't beat him. So our guy now, in the mirror, he's gonna roll back to X. It also gets us in a good habit of rolling back. We roll to the outside, we throw through X, and now this guy is able to attack uncovered to the opposite side, ensuring that now this D guy should be pushing out. This D guy now needs to slide here. We recover, and now this guy's gonna help in on the scramble. All right, and we get back into that same motion. All right, and again, the mirror guy now becomes the player that can't cross X 
unless he drives the opposite side to avoid it just becoming a four on three or a three uh, five on four, you know, passing drill. We want it to be sliding and recovering off of dodges. Again, this is our skip pass drill, X's and O's with FLG.